everyone. I am here with my husband, Noah, again. Hi. So, Noah's not really a reader. I mean, he reads, but not, not really for fun. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to pick out a few books and have Noah guess the title based on the artwork. I'm more of a visual person anyway, so I probably like doing that better than reading the book. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the title on a piece of paper, and you just have to match it with the book. Oh, okay. I will read you the description, and you just choose. <laughs> that easy, huh? That easy. <laughs> well, I guess we'll see. <laughs> so I guess you can leave now for a little bit. I'll pick out seven books, write down the titles, and then we'll get the show on the road. <laughs> Sounds good. Have fun. Thanks. Oh, so, Noah and I are in the middle of renovating our house, and in that little intermission, <laughs> I tripped over a chair and hit my knee and leg and spilled a can of paint all over our carpet. It's a good thing it's a uh, carpet we're going to replace in the future, but still, it was like a huge pile of wet paint. Ooh, good times, good times. <laughs> Laughing through the stress. <laughs> anyway, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So a couple of these, I think they're kind of easy. At least one. The other ones, I don't know though. Alright. I put the names of the books on here. I just have all of them, so. They did it so cute, like, <laughs> if I did it, it would not look like this. <laughs> Thank you. This is the first book. I had to put black marker on it because you could see through with these lights. <laughs> In the not-too-distant future, genetic engineering has turned every newborn into a ticking time bomb. Males die at the age 25, and females die at age 20. Oh my gosh, this is going to be harder than I thought. <laughs> do I get to and look at the book? Here's the oh, book. Okay. Okay, what if I do this for now, and then maybe later before I, like... You have one last chance? Yeah, okay. to, like, resort. Alrighty. I feel like this one would um, have like a rose on it or something, and this cover doesn't have a rose. <sighs> Darn. So, A Court of Thorns and Roses. Of course, there's a dog hair stuck to that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the second one. Remy always knows when to give a guy the speech. Right after the initial romantic rush before anything gets too serious. I'm not really sure, but we'll just go with this lullaby for now. Alrighty. <laughs> this one might be a little easy. Maybe. <laughs> Two years ago, the aliens made contact. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stick it on there. <laughs> this one's a dead <laughs> I'm not even gonna read the description. <laughs> okay, we'll just go by the book cover. Oh yeah, this is a dead giveaway. <laughs> I gave that to you in case you didn't get any others right. You'd feel at least a little happy Thanks. to have one. <laughs> We're in the movie series right now, so we have Harry Potter 5 mm -hmm. to watch next. Yep. So. You, can you say which one this is? Probably the first one, but is it the Sorcerer's Stone or something? Or well, the... That is the first one, yeah. Oh really? But. This isn't the first one? This isn't the first one. Uh, it's like really old looking, so I figured it was. What is that? Oh, that's uh, <laughs> the bird. Yeah. What's it called? What is the name? Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I can't think of that. Okay, after much contemplation, it's Buckbeak. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Alright, this is the next one. When a 19 year old huntress, Feyre, kills a wolf in the woods, a beast like creature arrives to demand retribution. Ooh, this one has like a thorn pattern on it. Dang. Redeeming love. <laughs> Here's the next one. Mm. Angel expects nothing from men but betrayal. California's gold country, 1850. Can God's love save anyone? Oh my gosh, some of these are hard. All right, last one. I don't think that's Wither. That looks like a lullaby or something. <laughs> Samantha Kingston has it all. Looks, popularity, and the perfect boyfriend. Friday, February 12th should be just another day. The catch, Samantha wakes up next morning and lives the last day of her life seven times. I mean, obviously this is the last one I have left, so I'll put that up there. Let me know if you want to redo any of them. 
I feel like I have so many of them wrong. Alright, are you satisfied in your choices? I'm not satisfied, but I'll just go ahead and... You'll commit to that? I'll commit to it. Ready to see? Yep. Oh, Alright, so you thought this was this lullaby. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Oh, snap! Yay! <laughs> Good job. Oh my gosh. Good job! Uh, so I'll keep this. Got I got it right. Alright, you said this was a court of thorns and roses. Ah. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> I wanted to change that one. It didn't have any thorns or anything on it. So you said this was wither. Yeah. <laughs> a court of thorns and thorns roses. Thorns and roses. You said this was alienated. Good job! <laughs> Give me that point. <laughs> said this one was redeeming love. Alright. Uh, Before I fall. Of course she's laying down on the ground falling. <laughs> I guess we'll just get this out of the way. <laughs> you said it was Harry Potter. What could it be? I was right. <laughs> Good job. With Buckbeak. Buckbeak. <laughs> I will remember that forever now. And last one. You said this was Before I Fall. And it is. Redeeming the... Uh, only three. <laughs> I feel like I could have done better. I don't know. I feel like I just can't like pick and choose all of them and spend a lot of time. I feel like there has to be like a time limit or something. Yeah. I mean, you did good. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and like this video if you liked it. And stay tuned for more book-related videos. Bye.